For those of you that uh, have the time and desire to learn how to track and find deer well, I recommend reading this book. Notice all the tab pages. I read this after hunting for over a decade. But I'm going to give you the tips I have in knowledge in a quick video because most of us have ADD and we don't have the time or ability to uh, spend the time to uh, go as in-depth as I have into this. So I'm going to give you the Cliff Notes uh, version or even less in a uh, quick video today. The best track of wounded deer you first should anticipate it will not die on the spot. I know I've read the myth that some magical round or shot placement will kill deer instantly every time. And, and if this were true, it would be commonplace practice. In reality, the most highly prized round in every deer camp. Think about it. If these people that talk like they know everything and that they're the most effective deer hunter in the world actually were, they'd be famous. Uh, that round will be the only one that uh, people use to hunt deer. Uh, all these uh, claims of uh, greatness for one cartridge over another uh, would not exist because uh, reality would uh, point them all pointless. And I'm not even going in this uh, video get into the debate over calibers. Uh, there's a lot of ego and... Uh, a lot of hurt feelings when uh, people get into that debate over uh, round. So we'll skip that all together and get on to the uh, tracking of deer. Because uh, no round's perfect. Uh, one example I can give of that, a uh, pretty good friend of mine. Uh, is actually a uh, police sniper, experienced deer hunter. Uh, he managed to finally recover a deer, but he shot it three times in the vital zone with a 300 Winchester Magnum over the course of 15 minutes. Guys, there is no round. Maybe a Browning 50, 50 caliber machine gun might do the trick, but okay, moving on. Just keep in mind, if anybody tells you they kill every deer they shoot on the spot. That person has not shot many deer and is lucky, or that person is a liar. It's going to be one of those two, guys. With all that said, you have to expect the deer will not go down on the spot when you make your shot. So take the time to find reference points that you can help you locate the exact location where you hit the deer, such as proximity to a unique tree, or stand of trees, a weed in the field, a uh, bend in a creek, uh, anything that's going to help you uh, locate exactly where you hit that deer. After making the shot, you want to see to the best of your ability where it runs to and note the area where you last viewed the deer. When you're lucky and can see the last location the deer left, you can find blood, then that's going to be where you get to start. When you're not, then that initial point of impact is a critical place to start. Oftentimes, you cannot find trace blood standing up or with knees bent. You have to get on your knees. Once you uh, find that first bit of blood, then you can mark that with a handkerchief. Your simple, honest handkerchief. Guys, if you don't have this, and gals, if you don't have this in your everyday carry, uh, you should. It's going to be useful for a number of different things to include on the hunt. Uh, this is going to help you simply drop right next to uh, that initial blood and you can start searching from there if you have to get on your hands and knees until you find that next spot, which you can do as well with a handkerchief. Now, windy days, that handkerchief, don't do that guys, it's going to blow away. It's uh, quick and easy to do. If uh, you don't have a handkerchief, you forgot it. And of course, any piece of equipment you have on your person, you can lay down uh, there beside that blood spatter. Handkerchief is just really easy because it's uh, very bright, uh, stands out very easily. 
but when you get into an area with a cover you can make use of marking ribbon uh, that marking ribbon you see here you can find it uh, most anywhere and uh, it is a useful stuff a trick I've done to keep it all from coming undone on me and becoming a giant mess which I recommend to all of you is to place a zip tie real simple real easy real quick uh, keeps you from having a giant mess and allows you to just tear off you pull that piece out and you tear off and you've got just enough to uh, mark uh, an area on a uh, limb with that uh, that's going to help you as you move forward and it's also going to help you when you move out if you're in a, if that deer ran into an area that's pretty uh, dense uh, that might be the only path a deer took that's not going to be uh, hell getting out of there and as any of you that hunted for any length of time know Deer don't typically go in a straight path for very long. So that's going to help you get that deer out of there at nighttime, especially if it's dark. It goes without saying, if it's dark, uh, you're going to want to, to have a, a regular traditional uh, flashlight with a lot of lumens and a headlamp that's going to help you out as uh, well when you're trying to find stuff. You'll need to mark the blood uh, when it is not easily visible that gives you a reference point and When you are finally able to locate that deer. I highly recommend you drag it out of there with a drag rope Similar to what I have here. I've got a little video that goes over it real quick uh, How to make one of these yourself or you can spend a bunch of money and uh, buy one uh, They sell sleds too. I don't recommend those from where I hunt if you're out in the open fields uh, and prairies, I guess that thing would work great. But uh, what I've got works great for uh, when they run into dense woods, uh, shrubs, etc. Uh, that's the way that uh, I do things. That's how I roll. I'm so grateful a friend of mine uh, showed me that uh, cheap trick before that I was using like a noose type, which uh, is a lot more of a pain especially when you get a bunch of blood in it it just doesn't work very well this is easy to put on take off hoist them into uh, the back of your uh, truck when you do get them back uh, out of those uh, dense area where they run into as well hope this has uh, all helped you out that book again tracking wounded deer how to find and tag deer shot with bow or gun by Richard P. Smith. Highly recommend it if uh, when you have the uh, time. Probably not this deer season because you're going to be busy hunting deer, but maybe in that lull afterwards when things are uh, frozen and miserable. Uh, let me know what you think. If you got any comments and uh, any other tips or tricks that are uh, real simple you can share with the community, it would be appreciated.